All right, now I'm going to solve the uh, dreaded sum perpendicular vectors that sum up to something problem. So, new problem, calculator. Um, so the vectors that I'm given, I usually call the one that they sum up to v. So why not? Um, that's going to be four eight. I usually call the other one u. So I'm going to do that and give it a six three. Um, okay, so I usually find A and B. A is it parallel to you, um, and B is orthogonal to you. Uh, so by doing a lot of these, I've noticed that um, the magnitude of A is always actually um, the dot product, going the wrong way here, dot product of U and V over the magnitude, which is the norm of U. It always works out that way. Um, you can just work it out on paper and you'll see that. And then I need a unit vector in the direction of A, which is just turning U into a unit vector. That's unit V of U. And now if I multiply these, this times this, that's vector A. The one that's um, orthogonal to that, I can find by subtraction. If I do V minus this vector, it gives me the other vector that I'm looking for. So I know that if I add these two vectors together, if I say A is equal to this, and B is equal to this, A plus B is 4, 8, like I need. And more importantly, if I do the dot product of A and B, it's 0. So I've solved that problem. Uh, the next problem is the distance from a point to a line using vectors. So I'm going to insert a new problem and try to solve this. So I'm going to make a vector from the y-intercept of the line to the point 411. I'm going to call that v. Uh, so it's 4 minus, it's the y-intercept, so 0, comma, and then 11 minus, if you find the um, y-intercept, it's negative 3, so negative 3. Um, and then in this case, uh, the vector u that I'm dealing with is uh, Parallel to the line, I know the slope of the line is uh, 1 half, which means I'm going up 1 and over 2 to turn that into a vector. That's 2, 1, right? So I get that. Um, and now what I'm doing is I'm actually looking for the magnitude of B. So in my head, I'm picturing that right triangle. And I know that that's just going to be um, the sine of theta, which is the angle between U and V, is equal to um, the magnitude of the side opposite times the magnitude of V. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. So the magnitude of V, and then the sine of, I'm dealing with vectors now, so to get the angle I need to do the inverse cosine of the dot product of U, uh, U and V over the norm of U and the norm of V do that and I get my answer which is what I was expecting to get and that's about it for the tough questions that were on the quiz uh, which well the only other question I didn't do was two so maybe we could just say it was a tough quiz but um alright I hope that's helpful for number two what I would do is just find two points on each line make vectors find the angle between them but uh, I'm not gonna do that here so this should be helpful. You should probably go through and try to redo all of these uh, using your calculator. Uh, notice how I start a new problem every time I did a new problem. That was good, especially because I was storing values. Um, you should get used to storing values. It makes it easier to evaluate things like this, which is pretty hideous otherwise. So I hope this is helpful.